It is the Friday of Memorial Day weekend, and I have a 7 a.m. flight from CVG Northern Kentucky to SFO San Francisco. Now, I'm curious to see what the crowds are like inside, so let's take a look. But before I do, I need to put on a face mask because at the moment, they are required to fly. The most recent data from the TSA shows the number of people flying in the U.S. is up significantly from historic lows in mid-April when fewer than 100,000 people were flying on a given day. Still, at CVG, there was no wait at the security checkpoint. The first week of March was the last time I flew out of CVG, and at the time, my plane was about 75% full. It is much lighter here in the airport than then. Of course, a lot has changed. A minor change in the boarding process, people sitting in the rear of the plane walk on first. The traditional beverage service has been replaced with a goodie bag, which includes water, snacks, and sanitizing wipes. My flight to California included a two-hour layover in Salt Lake City, which was the most crowded of the three airports I visited that day, at least in the areas I saw. Hi. Hello. Flying over the Golden Gate Bridge in downtown San Francisco preceded a very quiet walk through SFO. The only difference in the lift ride for my last one, face masks are required for both the driver and passenger. As you can see behind me, I'm in San Francisco, California, and overall the trip out here was kind of what I expected. The number of people flying is still very much down. The middle rows were kept empty on both of my flights. As I said earlier, face masks are required, and if you did not bring one to the airport, one was provided at the gate. For Spectrum News, I'm Jonathan Gregg.